So surprise, surprise, Arbor Jackai got into another fight. Okay, and again, are you surprised to know that it's against the Ottawa Senators? Holy, do Leafs and Sens fans not like this guy in particular because of the guys he's taken down. A lot of Leaf and Sens fans are saying he's dirty, such a dirty player. Uh, last time he took out Zachary Massacott of the Ottawa Senators in the rookie tournament. This time, guess what? It's Austin Watson, who I think last check was like 6'4 and over 200 pounds. He's one of the best fighters in the entire NHL. And Arbor Jackai won this fight. I'm telling you right now, Arbor Jackai beat up Austin Watson. Obviously, for copyright reasons, can't show the actual fight, just like uh, snippets of it. But let me tell you, this was something here. And this is just, to me, they talked about it on the broadcast. It's only in French on TV Aspach in Newfoundland, Habs against Sens. But this type of stuff is making Arbor Jackai pretty much indispensable. Like, yes, most likely he will end up with some time in Laval. I mean, he might make the, the big club if he keeps this up. But, man, is he making it tougher to send him down to Laval when he does stuff like this. Look. He scored a goal the other night. It's not like he's a meathead who can't play. And he said as much a few days ago. He doesn't want to be a meathead. Um, but he can not only play. And look, he's not the best defenseman on the Habs roster. Like, he's not got, like, Quinn Hughes or Kale McCarr level skill. And he's even Caden Gooley. He's not, like, on that level. But he's still a very good defenseman. And he can hit big time and he can fight. You need guys like that. You can't have... Six Kale McCars on your team. Well, maybe that's a bad example because six Kale McCars would be nasty. But like six Quinn Hughes defensemen on your team. You can't have that. Like you're not going to win. You need different types of defensemen. You need uh, a David Savard. You need a guy like Joel Edmondson. Like there's different types of D-men you need to fill out that back end. It can't just be skilled shifty guys all the time. Okay. Like Arbor Jacki, absolutely in my opinion, has his place on this Habs roster if he, again, gets one more preseason game and he really shows up. Again, as I say this, maybe tomorrow he gets sent down to the Laval Rocket. Who knows? But I think he's definitely knocking on the door here and he's given himself a chance to make the opening night Habs roster, especially with that defense core. You never know, man. Like, Caden Gooley, he, like, he should start looking for an apartment in Montreal because he's most likely going to be a hab this season but arbor jackai it's still up in the air not too sure let me know what you guys think in the comments down below is this kid gonna make the national hockey league i want to know from you guys all right make sure you let me know in the comments down below if you're new here you know what to do like comment subscribe for more arbor jackai uh fight updates ufc arbor jackai seriously man it's unbelievable with this kid and what he's doing but um, I really like him. And you're going to see a lot of Jack Guy jerseys in the stands coming up here soon because, man, is he becoming a fan favorite. He's a good guy, too. When you see him on off the ice, like, he's a good interview. He doesn't seem like a jerk. He seems like a good dude, like a gentle giant. But if you mess with him on the ice, he's going to get you, okay? So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.